Hey guys, today I want to give you some starter tips for throwing knives successfully. Anyone can chuck a knife at a target over and over again, but if it never sticks, you're not going to enjoy doing it. Uh, there's a lot of techniques out there, some more technical, some less technical. This is mine, I think it's the easiest to learn, so I'll show you how to do it. Hopefully you can get your knife to stick. So first thing you want to do after you get a set of knives, find a target. I like just a piece of wood, you know, the knife will stick in with ease, no problem. Dart boards work really well if you remove the metal grid. Uh, they turn out to be a little small though, so you want to hang something behind it, something you don't mind cutting up. Um, what you don't want to do is start throwing at live trees. It's not good for the knife, it's not good for the tree, just don't do it. There's easier targets to find. So once you have a safe area to throw and it's all set up, what you want to do is start marking your distance. Go heel to toe from your target. I like to do six and then mark it, and then I like to do six more. So you got basically six feet and 12 feet. So now that the area is set up, you want to start working with a knife. You want to find a method to where you can hold the knife the same way every single time. Uh, each knife is different. I'll show you what I do with this knife. I put my fingers in this groove here, and then I rest the knife in this crease. That way I know the knife is sitting the same every single time it leaves my hand. So now that your target's set up, the ground's marked, and you're holding your knife consistently, you can start throwing at 12 feet. Um, you can use the measurements to guide your knife throws. So at six feet, the knife should rotate once before hitting its target. At 12 feet, it should be two rotations. Um, so if you're at 12 feet throwing and the knife is landing like this, then you know it's not rotating enough. So you need to back up six inches. If you're throwing at 12 feet and the knife is landing like this, then you know it's rotating too long and you need to go forward six inches. And you can judge by the six inch intervals and eventually you'll find the perfect spot and then you can mark it and use that for future sessions. So now you got your target set up, your ground marked, and you're holding the knife correctly. Now you want to figure out a throw that you can repeat every time. I prefer kind of a drop down throw, something I can repeat because it's the same angle every time. But after that, it's all on you. It's just about finding out the distance, moving in six inch intervals, and developing a consistent throw. As always, hope this was helpful. Go on to armybarracks.com, find all kinds of locations where you can buy knives like these, gear like this, talk to like-minded individuals, and thanks for watching.